what's up you guys it's Catherine and I want to show you my studio like a, it's like my craft studio tour before we really get into it I want to say two things one <laughs> this will be quick um, I have a pre-sale going on right now for stickers they are three dollars so crazy crazy good deal on stickers mostly just to support me because I'm trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do after grad school free shipping right now until uh, November 8th so jump on that because that's going away. I won't have free shipping anymore after that. So international shipping, everything's free, okay? All right, second thing I wanna mention is that I am in grad school, which means I get a studio space through the university. And I actually have two uh, studio spaces at school. I have one in the art building and then I have one which I've been in most often in the videos. And that is a like sculpture studio, which is where I've been doing my stained glass stuff. And now I have a, I have a third studio. So in the apartment that I have, I ha it's like a two-bedroom apartment. Two-bedroom, two-bath, which is the bathroom right here. I don't use this bathroom. And so I've been able to use the second bedroom as like storage slash, slash craft studio. So I'm going to show you that today. As you can see, it's very full. There's lots of things. And so I'm really gonna go into it. I'm gonna show you everything that's in all these bins and I, I don't really even know. Um, so I'm gonna find out with you like what's in everything. And we're gonna spend a lot of time in here. So grab a snack, go ahead and put this on in the background. I'll try to describe things uh, visually as best I can. So you might not even have to look up. That's kind of like what I like to do. I like to put like longer videos on and then I don't really have to pay attention to them. So if you're interested in that, Go ahead and buckle in, get comfortable. Here we go. I'm gonna start over here at the door. So right here next to the door, or like I should say behind the door, there's a couple of bins and then I also have just my, um, you know, my reusable bags for grocery shopping, things like that. I have a bunch of bags just right there, easy to grab. I don't really have a better place for them that it's like easily accessible. So this is where they are. Then next to that is a bin from Home Depot. And in here, actually, hmm, it looks like clothing. But I think this is a ver this is a box that I typically keep my Halloween decorations and fall decorations in. But right now, there's actually clothes. Hi, Dory, you want to be a part? Do you want to show them what the things are? So actually, right now, it looks like it's um, stuff that I plan on... Uh, either donating am I gonna donate this stuff is this stuff that I know? no this is a variety of just like tank tops that I took out of off of my hanger because I'm literally out of hangers so some of it I might be end up donating some of it I definitely want to wear again I think I mean I don't know why I put that in there I think I want to wear that again it's no longer tank top season so I took these out and it looks like packaging stuff and then some holiday burlap ribbon with the metal the wire rods so burlap ribbon for holiday and I think that's everything that's in here. Oh, oh, I have one more thing. Harry Potter puzzle. I already did this puzzle. It was annoying. 550 pieces and it's like sort of looks like cross stitch or something. It's um, a holiday puzzle. And then on top of that, and I have just stuff that I brought home to teach, um, to do demos and stuff for my students online. So I'm teaching um, drawing one. So that's um, freshmen, typically sophomores in college. Uh, drawing one and they're in need of demos sometimes and so I've actually been doing uh, Demos right now on black paper with white medium. This was like a rhinestone thing This is like a tiara. This is a larger version of the tiara I think that's all I did yesterday. And then this was a hammer <laughs> A hammer demo to do like shiny things Nothing on the back and then a shoe demo to show how to do like shiny shoes and then on this side oh yeah it was a teacup handle so that was what I was doing for them recently and then we have a pad of drawing paper just white drawing paper and then some newsprint paper and then unfortunately I went into school the other day and I mentioned this in my video because it was I was literally filming when I discovered it but I had an art bin which like is something like this like a tackle box literally branded art bin for all of this stuff it's my charcoal it's my pastels it's a variety of like grayscale pastels these soft pastels Rembrandt these are so expensive what is this Conte a Paris pastels are also colored are these soft pastels literally never been used I don't think <laughs> I don't know why I have those 
and the Rembrandt uh, pastels. These are the half sticks. So the half sticks are less expensive than the full sticks. Oh no, they are the full sticks. Uh, but they're the darks, so it's not like the brights or whatever. I don't know why I chose just the darks, but apparently that was what I was feeling at the time. So um, I think I've used these a total of one time, and I did one video on it, and I think it's on this channel. The point of me telling you this is like, I don't understand why they didn't steal the materials. They only stole the box, and they took all the materials out of the box and stole the box. And here is vine charcoal. This is the grayscale pastels. I have a large set of charcoals. It's like black pastels. This is some fine grit sandpaper for uh, charcoals. Here is another package. I think this is only white. Yeah, this is just white. Um, Conte 6. Literally, clearly never use those either. I must have gotten these on sale. <laughs> There's some sand. I don't know why I have all these. More charcoal. White charcoal. Sticks. Looks like that. This is all the pencils and stuff that were in, that was in that thing. So just literally pencils, pens. Um, this is a really big vine charcoal stick. We've got microns. One of these pintail pens. Pen sticks. I got a couple of these little notch boxes of Conte crayons. Sepia, black, white. Not sure. They say the color names. Sanguine. I don't know. Noir, Blanc, Bistre, Sanguine. This is the same thing. So just a little matchbook of um, Conte. It's funny that I'm missing the black in both of them. More pencils. I have Tortillons, white charcoal. This is another bag of vine charcoal. So it just look like that. A variety of white pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, a random paintbrush. This is a nice paint paintbrush actually. Uh, more tortillons. This is a small thing of sandpaper. So basically what this is, this fine grit sandpaper is basically this, um, just a larger, smaller, um, and then removable, like you can remove the pages. A couple of erasers. This is for like spreading pastels, it's like a makeup sponge, more erasers, more tortillons, and then another jumbo um, vine charcoal thing. And then this is an ebony pencil. So these are literally, they're like woodless. So the entire thing is graphite and then it's just coated so that you can touch it without getting your hands dirty. So. All right, now we're gonna move over onto this shelf. So as I mentioned, this is like kind of more just like storage. Um, it's like both storage and craft. So in this like bin or whatever that's attached to the shelving, I have a, a Harry Potter squad goals patch. No idea why I have this, but it looks like Jenny, Hermione, and Luna. I have a couple of these clutches. So one of these, a couple clutches just for like going out. Um, I did a major like declutter a little while ago during quarantine of not only my art supplies, but also like bags, purses, things like that so that I could donate them to Goodwill and just get them out of here. And then above that, the only thing that's in this bin is this Damn It doll. Um, literally it just says Damn It doll. I think I got this in Vermont. Whenever things go, don't go so swell and you all you want to do is hit the wall and yell, here's a little Damn It doll that you can't do without. Just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it no, and as you whack the stuffing out, yell damn it, damn it, damn it. www.dammitdolls.com. So, you might recognize the who it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, here's what the top shelf looks like. So, quick overview of the top shelf, and then this is the first container. I'm going to show you what's in that. This um, sewing box is from Joann's. It's got a magnetic closure and little foxes, teal, gray, different colors of gray, and yellowy, greenish um boxes and then it's kind of squishy like i think it's foam so the top is like a kind of a squishy material then when you open it up there's a place for pens and things like this and then i guess i have a receipt in here and these little pockets that are on the top what is this what is that oh my god what am i touching what am i touching oh okay it's fine oh it's stuck okay so i used to here i'll show you I used to make dolls like this. Um, I have made a total of one so far, 
but I was working on another one and this is the second one they're made out of felt and stuffing and then you just make all like the facial features or whatever just however you want to um, this is the body of her she's got like a nice arm on some hands the shoe so I've made a different one in the past and that's kind of what some of these are for but I have um, like weird ribbons and buttons and things uh, for those for that purpose so I have some needles in here um, thimble things more needles this is like a chalk marker so if I want to draw on fabric you just like there's like chalk in there I don't I can't really get it to focus there we go so there's a spinner thing and the chalk is on the spin on the wheel and so you can just draw on fabric and make lines but yeah just dis disappearing ink or water soluble pen this one's blue this one's pink don't love how those work this is um some white lead it's like white ceramic chalk pencil and then this is a refill of this chalk thing so when i was doing a lot of the felt stuff i have some black thread gray, uh, brownish thread and then either an eraser and these are bobbins for embroidery thread and that's all on this like top tray thing and then below the top tray i have a variety of the goodies so i have more glitter elastic a button oh no I'm not gonna be able to put this all back in huh uh, this is a magnetic pin cushion some pliers with wire cutter a couple different types of oh no yeah so blue glitter ribbon and then silver glitter ribbon I used that for hair when I was doing my other um, felt sculpture this is more so gray or sorry green black and pink glitter ribbon literally all the ribbon I have is just glitter and then I got another button these are supposed to be eyes so you like you make lids for the eyes and then you can put the eyes inside of the eyeball like inside of the lids and so then I have one brown one green eye on this thing more buttons just a variety of buttons and I was on her, I did buttons in the hair. I was, or no, on the head. <laughs> that looks so tight. Man, I miss making these. These were fun. I want to do, I want to get back into this maybe when I finish grad school. I got another button. Another button. This is elastic um, ribbon in blue. I don't know what I was doing that. Little container buttons and some wire so that's everything that's in this container next to the sewing box I have two of these containers one that literally is just full of like when you get a stretcher stretcher bars or whatever they typically will send these um, to put, make the corners square so I have a ton of those then next to that I have this container which has hooks in it Next to that is gloves, just nitrile gloves. Got those um, when COVID happened, and I'm gonna show you what's in this bin right here. Oh, sh so my mom made this bin for me. It's um, it's a spring, so it's like spring on the inside, and then it's covered in fabric, and the fabric is paintbrushes. And she made me a pillow of this same material as well. Um, so in here is just a variety of like hanging tools, so like making um, wire framing and stuff for paintings, things like that. So. Hashtag I adopted. This is when I got Dorian. I adopted him. This was a gift from some friends. It is a leather bound sketchbook. She had gotten it from a maker, I guess at a craft show or something. And I think I, it's like handmade, but I think I just used it as like swatching for encaustic when I was in Vermont. So this is from the Vermont Studio Center. These are swatches of um, just wax. I have a couple pages of that. Yeah, one, two, and 
that's kind of it. And I just use, typically I just use like sketchbooks for notes anyway. And the last two things in this, um, well, these are word pads. I think I got these on Amazon, but they're just little like to-do lists. Like they have, um, like bullets and you just, it's just a book of lists. And I'm like about that. So it's like take better notes. And then it gives you a, a legend, I guess, if that's the right word, of like how to like mark your notes off. And I think it's just notes. Oh, yeah. Oatmeal, banana, cream, or coffee. Oatmeal, banana, sandwich, cheese. So I got those from Amazon. I actually bought those special because they have a variety of covers, but I really like those. It came, I think, with three. I don't know what that third one is. But the size is perfect for grocery lists. These I got for free, um, just like through Blick. Blick because they're free sketching in here <laughs> no, I think I, when I first got my studio um, in West Midtown I think I was doing this because I didn't have any of my materials in there yet so I just all I had was this thing and I went in there uh, and then I just was like feeling, I was just feeling it. I was just feeling creative. And so I just made a bunch of like abstract drawings apparently. And I'm just going to reiterate again that I did recently go through all of this, this whole room. I was just tired of how much stuff I had and I donated a ton and I brought a lot of color colored media so a lot of colored pencils watercolor pencils things like this that I had multiples of I brought those to school for my students as well so this is hopefully everything that I'm planning on actually using okay on this next shelf down there is a couple of things here and we'll start with this bin from the Dollar Tree and I think this is all just like erasers just like really fun eraser yeah it does say strawberry scented so magical wand erasers these are all from this brand Uli online. I actually did like a 90s nostalgia art supply haul um, many years ago, and that's kind of what all this is from. This is cacti, so prickly pals, and I've obviously never opened it because the packaging is so cute. So it's just different cacti erasers, and you can take the little cacti out of the pot, so you can take the flower off the cacti. It's all like interchangeable. Same thing with these. These are macarons. This is a Colorful vanilla scented erasers. A sandwich eraser. I have a hot dog. All of hot sauce. Super cute. Oh yeah, there's two tacos. There's a second taco. Then you have some, it looks like chips with dip on them, like chips and salsa. And some fries. I guess that goes with the sandwich and the, the hot dog thing. And then another bottle of hot sauce little eraser monsters that will like sit and like you can change their feet and their bodies out so they're little monsters and then this is just like refills for the dip pen that i have which i never figured out how to work whatever stuff for like stretching canvas so i have fancy uh fabric scissors just like spare cuts of fabric of canvas i should say for stretching stretching canvas and then this looks like a container of fabric for embroidery hoops. It's gonna fall. Just a variety of fabric for that. Oh, I didn't realize there was needles in here. Okay, and then below that, this looks like a um, embroidery piece that I was making, and I feel bad. Like I actually really liked how this was gonna look, and then I ruined it, but because I thought that that's what I needed to do. It was a grad school project, you know how things go. No, I like where it was going, I should say. Um, this is someone from grad school. He was a he's a he was he is a photographer. This is one of my prints from first year. This is a print I traded with someone from undergrad. This is also a print I traded with someone from undergrad. This is a print from one of my professors from undergrad. I traded one of my really big prints, and this is one of his prints. And then these are some prints from my first year of grad. I didn't have like a proper like press to do these. I was just doing them by hand. 
Next to that bin is another bin for, or well, I guess, no, this is um, more stuff for stretching canvas. So I have staples, extra staples, a stapler, extra staples, and more just like blank fabric. This looks like I was doing a sampler. I was teaching a, a little quick demo on embroidery at school, I think in my first year. And so that's what this was from. In here, <laughs> this is something I was doing in undergrad. I'll show you. All right. Um, I took a class, I, th I think it was just like drawing two, it was like advanced drawing or something like that. And the professor that I took it with was wanting us to draw as much as possible every day. And so it was supposed to be like hundreds and hundreds of hun and hundreds of drawings on like small paper. So that's kind of what these are. It's just a variety of studies. And the paper that I chose to use was tar paper. So literally for like roofs and stuff. So that's all of what this is. It's hundreds of I'm not gonna go through all of it, maybe one day. That was everything that was in the box um, and then I think this is just a bag of like ephemera or like white types of paper and things that I was using for the black paper and then this was like a study that I was doing for some of my first like triangle paintings. Next to that bin is another bin of I think like actual like craft materials, a bag of rocks, some like jute ribbon without the wire, didn't realize that I had this some actual jute, some unopened paper, craft paper, butterflies and flowers with little buttons. These are wooden ornament things, snowflakes, more jute. This is lichen from the craft store. I love the way this stuff smells. It looks like some moss too. Everything that's in that bin. And then next to that is like just like crap um office y stuff, binder clips, stapler binder clips, paper clips. These are things that you stick to the side of something and then you have a pin that's in it. It's like a pin pal, so you just slip a pin in there. Um these are from the Dollar Tree. They're like little hooks for the wall. Can openers. Ooh, I didn't realize I had tape in here. Maybe I need to bring that to studio. Ooh, copper paper clips. More staples. This is TheraPutty. So you just like squeeze it and it's supposed to feel good on your hands and strengthen your fingers and things like that. I got it when I was doing wrist, wrist therapy. So I have a tear currently in my wrist and it hasn't gone away. It's not any better. More binder clips, more tape, and these are also a different type of binder clips or binder rings. So I didn't realize I had those. All right, down below that shelf is this shelf. This is all of my Copic markers that I've used like twice, maybe. For some reason I felt I needed to buy like a million Copic markers and like never use them, so that's what those are. I'm going to come to this in a second. Next to that is all of the Prismacolor markers. Most of these I got when I was in uh, architecture school. Oops. And I don't think even really many of them work at this point. Uh, anyway, yeah, so these are Prismacolor markers for doing architectural renderings, which I never really got very good at. Then on top of that, I moved out of the way is a 
square so you can change the, sh the angle for also for architectural rendering so there you go this has to be kept flat otherwise it will warp so it's basically just always out um and then i have some more wire and this is a pasta machine it's a clay flattener and I got this when I was into clay for like 30 minutes and I haven't really done much with it thought I was gonna be like some great clay maker um, and then this is actually the container of all the clay so I'll get to that in a second but on top of that is just a variety of hoops and look at this um, so both of these bins we can look at here in a second so this is my clay bin and below that is the wood burning bin. so there's actually less in this bin so let's just look at this one this is the uh, wood burning bin if I could figure out how to open it um what was I doing with this basically I was just like I don't know I made gifts I made like spoon gifts. This is like the practice spoon. Um, one year for Christmas, I was making little like designs and stuff on spoons with the wood burning tool. And I guess I have it set to the temperature that I don't want it to change. So there's tape on it. I never really got that good at it. Um, I, I did it on picture frames, which I actually just donated a ton of picture frames because I was like, I don't even know why I have these. Now I remember why I have them. <laughs> They're for wood burning. Um, I guess I thought I was going to do dinosaurs. Okay, I got that from the Dollar Tree. I should probably donate that. This is a little container of all of the um, nibs. As you can see, I just like love containers. I just love organizing and like containers. Alright, so a variety of nibs and different shaped things. And I guess you can make circles. That's cool. Well, I believe I got this from my from Michaels. They actually now, they didn't back then, but now they have like a whole section on wood burning stuff. Okay, so now moving over to the Sculpey. I already filmed what was in this once, but I lost the footage. It was probably just too long and it didn't want to load because <laughs> it was such a super mess in here. Um, but I actually organized it as I was putting it back, so this will be easy. Um, basically, everything is just um, little containers of colored Sculpey. Um, it's all like polymer clay, Sculpey 3, so it's all like undried out, like all of it is like good to go. Like as you can see, like it doesn't matter how old something is, it will be fine to work. You just have to work it a little bit and it bakes. So this is um, translucent and then I have a big thing of white. Both of these are unopened. Wire, this is a thing of pastels to like color, uh, different colors of like just to add sh shadows, shading, whatever, depth. Um, just a variety of colors, 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 tin foil, um, scrap clay. I was making little Instagrams. Um, that's the old Instagram logo, but um, it was like a cane of Instagrams. So I have, oh, there, there's a one, but it doesn't have blue. So I was making that kind of thing. I made like charms. Um, this is a silamat sil or whatever for like baking, I think. Like you put it on that so it doesn't stick to the pan. I have. This is translucent liquid Sculpey and then bacon bond. So it's like a glue. This is like an icing. Um, and then what is it else? Glaze. Oh, cool. So things get shiny and you get done. But I found this when I was like going through this and I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. I was like this into making uh, Sculpey things. So I think I was doing um, maybe some sort of like gnome house and I just never got around to painting it but it was like granite Sculpey, gold Sculpey and then I made like a little door handle and then it's a keychain. So also what's something that's in here, I think it's underneath these, uh, it's um, a bunch of findings. Like I literally was so into Sculpey, I got every freaking tool known to man um, to make keychains and like earrings and things like that and I like I abandoned it and I don't know, I just... Have a tendency to do that but i will probably get back into it I and mean, it's really fun there's cookie cutters tools there's all kinds of these wire cutters i have a rolling pin there's like a million of these like cutting things i have this smoothing tool with like a little dot a dotting tool this is like a silicone um, smoothing tool here, lotion, I mean like I have so much stuff for this and I just never, 
I just kind of abandoned it. And this is like a cutter. Wow, I had like everything. Even calipers. <laughs> okay, that's everything that's in my Sculpey thing. So everything is labeled by the color. And you might be able to see like kind of from the side, like not you can kind of tell like what colors are in here, like from the side or whatever, but um this is like raw sienna. This one is pearl magenta. So it's like a shiny magenta. Cool. I just found this too as I was putting everything back in. Apparently I was making beads. Very pretty. All right, we're al we're almost done with the shelf. We're down to the next one. So I've already talked about her. Next is, um, I'm not really sure. So it looks like I have some prints here. A print, this is the Pocket Press Mini Clayton. Um, I ordered this from Etsy, I think. It's like a little tiny pocket press. And so I don't know where the thing is, but you just like roll this thing over and it has a little felt like um, a plate, like an actual printing press would. They sketch book. See what's in it. My mom made these covers for the sketchbooks. Love it. I really like this thing. I have a couple of them. Oh my god. So many words and no drawing at all. There's a drawing. There's an interesting drawing. Mostly just words. So I never really got that far in the sketchbook. Maybe I did, because I, I see this. So maybe I didn't, I just have pulled it out since. Yeah. So this is a box um, that's on the shelf, and I'm really not gonna show too much of what's in it, because there's kind of like some secret stuff in it. Um, but this looks like, it mostly is just like to hold my transfer papers and stuff like that. So um, like when I was making prints and things. Like drawings for prints, transfers, stuff like that. This is like a sketchbook. Ooh. This is when I was really into making like toilet, um, like bathroom and like ritual and like toilet imagery for like printmaking. So yeah, there's the. But like, oh my god, I had no idea that this canvas was in here, and I've been looking for canvas, like I just bought, um, recently, I just bought like a huge roll, but I had no idea that I had this canvas in here, like, tight, tight, I need that. Um, transfers, for things, yeah, oh, that was a reference, so nice, oh, what even is that? I don't, even, I don't think I even have that, done that one. <gasps> is this the original? Oh, it's just part of it. It's not the whole thing. Oh my god. Yes. The larger one that I had printed from this, um, I left it in my studio in the sun. And so all the colors are completely gone. So it doesn't mean anything. But now this is like freaking gold. I can redo this. This is another sketchbook that was in there. It's another printmaking notepad. I think this is from printmaking, like first printmaking class. Yeah. So transfers for um, sink plates linoleum plates, things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. This brings back memories. Gold. Gold. Reference for some paintings that I was working on, what I was gonna make. Tight. All right, so moving on from that shelf in that box is this shelf. Um, we'll get to this last. These are some of the zinc plates and things like that that I was talking about. So that's what these are. We'll open those. Um, a huge tub of Mod Podge that I've not opened. I think this is also... Okay, chalk paint, white and black. Um, this is an in-progress project with resin of... Oh, it turned yellow. That looks so gross. Um, okay, so this was like a mattress and a chair with some books on it. So I was making these things out of bronze and then I used um, mold making material to make a mold from the bronze. And then I made um, uh, resin casts out of the out of the molds, out of the uh, bronze thing. A watercolor pan, like a butcher tray, and CDs. <laughs> I don't know what you burn onto CDs now at this point, but that's what that's what those are for. And then next to that, I have 
some more crafting stuff. This looks like eye hooks and things. I guess I was going to make a necklace. This is um, drafting pencils. Yes, so lead pointers, things like that for drafting. These are long. So there's your leads. And they're different hardnesses. Um, so that you can get like thicker and thinner lines. This is 4B. So I was never very good at drafting. Um, and then here's the lead pointers. For architecture school. I was not good at drafting. And this is a, a literal pointer. So it makes your lead really sharp. Okay, and then I have stamps. All of the letters. This is uh, some old business cards. These are my new business cards. Oh, okay, there's the other thing that I was talking about. So I made, this is the first one that I've made. So this is like my self-portrait. Bead stuff. Yeah, just like beads and things like that. So this one, I can't tell what this is. It looks like a key. So it's like a pendant with like a crown on it. And it's like in this old kind of antique bronze. This would be the chain that goes with it. Ooh, some pretty like, what would you, what would you call this? Mother of Pearl hearts. These are some sparrows. Oh, wow. These are so 2009. This is more of that hardware findings. Oh, some cameos. Yeah, this is for sure 2009 for me because I was like into cameos in 2009. Um, black beads. I really don't want to go too much into this because this is just a huge mess of like beads and findings and stuff. I'm curious though. This is pretty. Never been opened. Um, a pendant. It's like a rose pendant thing crystallized squarots the elements so wow this is a hot air balloon um pendant that i used to wear when i was in high school very nice costume jewelry times I did like clean outs or whatever I kept this for some reason and I'm still going to keep it because I think I'm just going to like hold on to it like if, if and when I have kids like I think that would be great for them if they want to play with like some I don't know it's just nostalgic for me I guess so I'm just going to save save that all right and then below that bin is this bin of ink I think this is more stuff that I was doing for drafting so like the repeato graph pens which is what these are I think I cleaned these out maybe a couple of years ago. I don't know um, if they work though. They're different. What in the world? They're different like thicknesses um, of this type of ink and they're for drafting. This is a lead pointer as well. This looks like nibs for a, um, a, a pen holder, which is what this would be. This is one, two. This is a pen <laughs> for it's a stick, but it's a pen. Um, some India ink, different types of ink. Let's see what types of ink we have. Looks like all a bunch of white. So if you just, if you remember the white or the black draw, the black paper white drawings I was doing on that, um, I was just doing, this is probably what this was all for. And the last thing on this shelf is actually this. It's some artwork. It's actually a really large, um, stained glass panel of a chair. So you might recognize this chair. I've done it many times. Um, and it's a very large stained glass piece. Okay, so these are plates for printmaking. And this looks like it's an underwater cliff scene. It's the interior of a house. This is the next. Oh, jeez. Okay, and this plate is also kind of hard to see, but it's a uh, dental chair. This is my first um, set of etching plates. I really loved etching. Etching was so fun. 
So it's a diptych of the inside of a like abandoned building. This is like the left side. And then the right side. And so they're typically they're printed like this on paper and then I think I called it the blueprint because I think I printed it in blue. So in this piece of cardboard here, which is actually kind of cool, um, this is another etching plate. And now this is like one of my absolute favorite plates. Actually, it would be kind of cool to just like display this. This is really heavy though. This is the largest etching that I've done. It was a um, record player that I got from Goodwill and then I like literally like dissected and then just like indicated the um, different components like in the encyclopedia page but if you if you'll notice like everything has to be backwards opposite so reversed so that when you like actually print it it has the right orientation moving on from this um, set of shelves I have a little cove over here by the window it's not necessarily clean, <laughs> but it's my sewing machine area. And then um, I guess I'll start with down below. So there's a tiny trash can. Nothing in it. Good. That's good. <laughs> um, a large hoop for my shelter project series. I still have more I can do with that. And then just more stretcher bars down here for more options with canvases. A ton of bubble wrap. I think this is what my kayak came in. So I'm saving that for moving or packing or whatever there's a presser foot for the sewing machine which is right here i have a light for it oh there we go and then you can change the brightness and stuff on that oh and then you can change it to warm or light white or cooler warm light so my mom made masks for me and i just i need to put these um, hair ties on them, but when I did this one, they're just like way too like thick and tight. It's just weird. So I got these from um, Big Lots, so I want to use this type of elastic instead. So I just I haven't gotten to it. But I have a variety of those. And then in this box is urethane rubber. It's mold making material. And then I think I have some like mold release there. And then that is a. I think there's two of those butane tanks. This is some more mold making materials, a variety of fabric that I was using to make, um, what are these called? Dog bandanas, that one, they're for Dorian, that one was way too big for him though. And then cords, things like that, headphones, and then back behind the sewing machine is just like sewing stuff, so needles, thread, pens, things like that. I have just stickers that I need to put on my, um, my easel. I put my stickers on my easel, so that's what all these are. It's in this little Witches Run the World. It's from an ASIO box. Don't love that bag. Um, and then this is the cover for the sewing machine. I think my mom made that. Into the next shelf, I have the, a book that I made. It's like a print, a print book. Here, I'll show you this really quick. Or I guess you could say it's like an artist book. So the title is Jeremy. And I printed on this canvas and then did embroidery over top of it. I think in this is just like birthday cards and things like that, kind of sentimental stuff. And then this is all my stickers. Why won't you focus? Everything for like my planner and bullet journal. This is stamps. But mostly just like a ton of stickers. And then behind it, I have two things of washi tape. This is something from an ASIO box as well. This is a encaustic painting that's covered in resin. I did a video on this on this channel. And then this is Exacto Blaze. And this thing, um, washi tape, pens, pencils, markers, all organized nicely on here so I can see them. 
Then on the next shelf, envelopes, checks. This is the um, iPad holder that I got when I first got my iPad. Um, this is an old happy planner thing. Planners, stickers, planners, old planners that are full. All right, moving right along the window here. Um, not much to say about this table. It was the palette painting table that I was using as like a tabaret. When I was doing a lot of oil painting at one of my old studios on it right now, it's just, it's literally just a table. I had my plants on it um, over the winter because so they get a lot of light um, when I have to take them in for the winter. So these are jeans that need, that have holes that need to be repaired. I guess I was planning on doing some sort of DIY, DIY, <laughs> DIY with these rocks um, from the Dollar Tree, but they're still sitting right here. And then I have two of these um, like print things from Joann's, I think. They're just little botanicals, and I haven't taken them out of the packaging yet because I don't know where I want to put them. This is my roof rack stuff. I need to put my roof rack on my car still. Um, this is... I use um, pink ceramic lead when I am doing embroidery on canvas, so I have a ton of those. And then some like larger thread needles for yarn. And then below it, I have, this was a larger stained glass piece that fell apart. So I was actually doing some painting on this. And I think the other, the, the pieces that I actually painted on are at school. But I guess I started something on this and then kind of abandoned it. There might be something in it, but it literally is just like plain black paper. Um, and then below that is a newsprint paper pad. And then these are the crossbars for my roof rack. Next to that, I have some blank canvases. These are real, real thick canvases and a wooden panel right there. Here they go. And then over here, oh God. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, I moved it over um, so I could actually see what was in here. All right, so on top, uh, there is a... This is like a binder ring, but basically this is what I do. So what if I have a palette of threads that I want to use? They basically just go on here and they stay in the order, like the light to dark that I want them to be in. This is a punch needle kit holder. So here's a variety of thread colors. These are on the bobbin, so I kind of just know like what I have in stock or whatever based off of these. And it helps me get the palettes going. And then this is another one, because obviously they don't all fit in that one. There's more. Then I have my uh, light table thing with some tracing paper. Okay, and then in this big tub, what's in here? Looks like a variety of uh, yarns. I was doing large scale embroidery, so I was using yarn for that. So I have a bunch of yarn colors I got for that. This is a sketchbook. Nice. This is definitely from undergrad. Okay. Down here, this is my apron. Cool. Good to know. Ooh, I have a reusable bag. Okay, that doesn't need to be in there. That can go with my other reusable bags over there. Good throw. Here's another one. Um, I had no idea that this was in here. Acrylic gesso. Wow, it's like there's only I think I can see it's only like this full. Interesting. Gel medium. Roll of tape. Um, this is stabilizing fabric. I guess when I was doing the large scale embroidery, I was trying to use that. Um, this looks like, oh, this is a piece of artwork. Resin pieces, if you remember that, I just showed you that. So they were on this, like, sticking out of the fabric. And then they, I made little, like, um, you can call them, like, silhouettes of them. And they were wrapped around, the thread was, like, wrapped around. Okay, this is that large scale embroidery I was talking about. I ended up cutting it up and wrapping it around something else. This is all that's left of it. This is a set of Faber-Castell pit pins, so that needs to go over there. So she moved those. And these are Copic multi-liners that can also go in that container. And this is my oil painting bucket. Just two graphite pencils. This holds little, um, you like slip it onto your palette and then it holds the little containers of uh, medium. And then this, you know, can opener. 
So this looks like all, I honestly had no idea this, this is here at all. So this is like all of my colors of oil paint that I have, I guess, and most of them are um, Williamsburg. I prefer Williamsburg, and then I have some Gamblin. Um, and then down below is the larger tubes. Yellow ochre is what you use to tone canvas. So yellow ochre and then burnt umber to like tone canvas. Oh, it's titanium zinc white. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Okay, cool. And I don't think I use, oh, it's so sticky. I didn't, want, I didn't really want to touch anything down here. So the sap green is a fast mat, so it dries um, a little bit extra quick. I don't think that's why I use it. Let me just quickly show a couple of colors. Wow, completely unopened. I just don't paint anymore, and I need to. Okay, so now I've moved this bucket over to this corner. I think it fits perfectly right there. I don't know, whatever. Um, okay, and then next to that, I have uh, like just like a little rolling cart. Not too much on it. You can kind of tell what's on it. So Zach and I have just random stuff that um, needs to find a better home. Uh, paper cutter thing. Lots of reading and stuff that I've done. Um, in grad school writing stuff like that mostly it's writing I think and then down below that I have some blue tinted gesso theraputty with the theraband and then another thing of theraputty so when I was doing the OT and then next to this I have my shelf which I'm not gonna really get into because this is not art supplies um, it's a crap ton of candles so um, four candles in that candles candles all the way down <laughs> candles and then I have below that is um scent things for like the room center things or whatever and then this is an absolutely empty container that I thought I was going to use for stained glass panels sorting but I have two of them so the other one's at studio and then above that I have a bag of reusable bags a bag of bags these are more likely to be used bags this is um my meal kit for camping so there's like two bowls two sporks and then two cups and camelback stuff like that a backpack this is me and dorian's life vests this is my life vest and then his life vest he actually has two because he like gains weight and then he needs to use that one an eno hammock with the straps and then this was a birthday gift or yeah birthday gift no christmas gift from drew is his bug net um, this is actually a birthday gift from Drew as well. So the Eno you know, hammock and the bug net. This was my first um, harness. So if anyone wants to go climb, I have like a backup harness for them. And then purses. And I've gotten rid of a ton of purses. Um, and it's basically just the ones that I actually use right now. Um, so. And then above that, this is my climbing rope. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. I'm curious what color it is. It is. It's like purple and blue. That's my rope. I have a cooler. I have one game of operation. Some bags and things like that that when I do like little artist markets or whatever, that's what this is for. Boxes um, for electronic things. And I, it helps to keep them. So like when I move, like I have the Keurig box and it fits perfectly in its box. And then next to this thing, I have three of these containers of embroidery thread. So they're numbered in order so these are like the three thousands and then they have you know the number the, the number uh stock that they are from they're all dmc so three seven two two and then i know that this is three seven two two so if i'm looking remember so like i have my embroidery thread bobbins right here and so i'm like okay do i have three seven two two i need six of them so i go over and i look i'm like okay how many three seven two twos do i have Where's it? And then I'm like, okay, I have um, five or whatever. So I only need to buy one, you know. Um, so that's what these are. So there's three of those. And it starts with um, 150 and then goes to 3866. Yeah. And then behind that, oh, this is the, the packaging for my Spectrum equipment. So when I move, I have to return my Spectrum. So I have the box for that and like whatever cords came with it. I've already gone over this. These are my canvases that are finished slash in progress. So if you want to see that video, I have like an art in my apartment tour. That's up. Here is a 
another palette that I was working with, and it's actually for this piece. And this is my Christmas tree in there. And then on this table, I am currently working on a painting. I haven't worked on it in a little while, but this is white and black paint. I have gesso both for encaustic gesso, that's what this is, encaustic gesso, different types of mediums. This might be cold wax medium, that's acrylic ground for pastels, interesting. And these are both um, containers of ga uh, Gamsol with the Torrid Gray sludge in the bottom. Some Gamsol. This is a medium container for like medium, so I should probably, oh no, it's, ga it's Gamsol. It's like a travel one maybe. We have a brush shaper and brush cleaner, which is this big soap container back down here. Literally not even been opened because I don't really clean my brushes, so. And then I have sandpaper, and then these are brushes for gessoing large canvases, and then this is that uh, blue tent to like tent gesso, so it's not white. And then paint brushes, shop towels, more paint brushes, more paint brushes, little containers for medium, and then my palette. Paint palette is here. I don't really want to open it, but it has the paint all laid out. You don't really need to see that. And then more colored paint. And then on this side, I have more black and white paint. These I mix these myself. I didn't buy those, so I just use the black and white paint and then make grayscale so I can do this. This is the Gamsol thing that I've been using right now. This is my necklace that broke. Very sad. We're almost done. We're going to go into the closet now. I'm going to do a quick overview. I'm not going to go into anything. So. Uh, extra linens, that's my climbing helmet, some packaging stuff, an iron, um, I have no idea what's in this box. This is clear bags or whatever for prints. I think it, this might just be a box of bubble wrap. This is, um, hubcaps for my car. And I lost two of my hubcaps, so I ordered replacements. What's in here is just like the Toyota brand hubcaps. And then, I don't really know what this is stuff sacks oh this is another set of belay glasses i knew i had another set when i had plantar fasciitis that's what this is i got a wrist brace so that's kind of what this stuff is it's just like medical stuff another wrist brace yeah and this is a bike basket for my old bike not for my new one and then i have an ironing board this is my sleeping bag this is my sleeping pad this is my tent this is a bag of like DIY stuff, and this is another bag of DIY stuff. I think this is for my felt people. So I have um, polyfill and then a variety of felt colors and stuff in there. This is paper towels, toilet paper. I got a big box. Some more canvas stretchers. This is canvas. I have canvas, and then I also have, I think, um, I think that might be it. It's just a big roll of canvas, and then these are my dresses and things. This is my Halloween costume. Wearing this on Saturday. I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, here's my Muay Thai. The Hufflepuff thing. Two pairs of climbing shoes. <laughs> uh, this is my pile now. I started of like donating clothes. I have a new pile started and then I have empty containers here. And then this looks like some camping stuff. So I have Dorian's sleeping bag, I have Uno, I have camping wipes, um, this is a, a lighter, it's a stuff sack, and then that's a bin of artwork that's all on the website, Push that back. and then I have extra linen here for a full-size bed, my bed right now is a queen, and then I have a heater, and then um, this is my like weekender bag, See what I drew on the weekend. Dude, I think that's basically it. The last thing that I, I can show you is this. So, like, my bike is on this rug. Piece of artwork here. Piece of artwork there. My longboard. And the air... Uh, what is this called? An air pump? Air pump? I don't know. Tire pump? I don't know. Whatever. This is the back of my longboard, which I, like, never use. All right, you guys, you did it. You made it all the way through my video of everything that's in my third studio. So as I mentioned, I have three. So this is literally just my storage slash like at home studio stuff. I brought whatever I needed kind of like during COVID back from my studio at school. 
um, and now it's in here and I've kind of just been doing making do with what I have at, at, at home. I don't really use my studio at school, but I do use the wax studio because you guys see that all the time because I'm there a lot doing stained glass stuff. So that's it. Okay. Um, oh, last thing. Last thing that's in here. 3D Harry Potter puzzle of Hogwarts and it's completely unopened, unused. So this is a video going to be coming up over, I guess, holiday because I don't have time to do this anytime soon. But I will, I think, over the holiday do this and make a video and my review on this awesome thing. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my new online store. So you can get maybe a sticker for $3. Free shipping right now through hmm, November 8th. It would be really great to support me in that way. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.